everyone, it's Reminex here, and we're going to do a special 1,000-day account level walkthrough. It's going to take you guys through what I've done, what I'm working on, what I regret. I've had a few <laughs> on my roster, but also some things that uh, I, maybe some tips, maybe some things you guys will, will laugh at and hope you guys will get a reason why I still play this game. And we're going to get right into it, guys. So right off the bat, um, I am currently at... 14.786 million TCP. That puts me in the top 100 players in the game. I'm currently in Legion of Cabal, playing along with some friends, able to do the dot three Greek raids and uh, learning as, as we go here. My strongest team power really doesn't matter. 765, 359. A lot of that's built up because of G15 and I put some five ISOs on characters to do some testing. We don't even want to get into what I've spent on ISOs testing. If I name that figure and my wife watches the video, I may not, you know, send help. All right, so let's go, let's go right into it. So uh, from a roster perspective, we're just gonna sort it uh, by power. You guys will see, I currently have my current characters I'm working on for Dark Dimension for City. I'm in Cosmic. And so that's kind of a, a good basis of it. Now, I first started playing Marvel Strike Force. I was watching uh, a player, his name was Deegan. TP and he was streaming on Twitch and he was a streamer that I, I met playing Marvel Heroes. So after Marvel Heroes closed the gate, there was a real just vacuum of good Marvel content video games. I tried Marvel Contest of Champions, wasn't wasn't my bag. Um, kind of saw some of the gotcha elements of that game. We'll, we'll go we'll go over that in another video. The difference between a gotcha and a hero collector. But from this element, uh, I started liking the, the, the game. So I probably started about a month after launch. With a thousand days, that's probably about right. And so for the most part, I, I wasn't spending on the game. I think I spent a little bit of money early on uh, because I had a bunch of Google Play gift cards that were from my previous job that were given out as a bonus and I just used them on premium orbs. Don't do that, it's terrible. Not so terrible that I couldn't overcome it. And then it was a long time before I really started investing anything in this game, spending any type of money, uh, because the, the experience of the premium orbs really just, just made me feel bad. So uh, I, I was lucky enough to, to meet a few friends, uh, join an alliance. My first alliance that I joined, uh, I met in uh, global chat, and I played with them for quite a while. And then I gave uh, the leader some feedback one time. Uh, and he decided to kick me before the raid season was, or before the raid rewards were out. So I got none of the raid rewards. It was pretty frustrating. And so that's where we're at from that. So i uh, give you guys a little bit of a hint. You guys will see my night nurse has been where she was since the U6 raids. If you guys remember back in those days, they were a lot of fun. I've seen the Thanos raid, the Deadpool raid. Remember the two hour Deadpool raid. Uh, I was also... Lucky enough to, after I left that alliance, to join an alliance called MMX2. Uh, if you guys don't know what MMX2 was, MMX1 and MMX2 uh, actually eventually became Legion. And so that's why I, I, I still have some solid ties to the cluster. Uh, so um, believe it or not, I was in on the whole naming of the cluster. Boy, that was, a, that, was a, that was a fun day when there were way too many people contributing to naming the cluster, but we stuck with the Legion and then we originally had alliances and we adopted the names of the, the stones from the power, the infinity stones. Without that being said, so honestly, I have quite a few regrets in my roster. Now I probably surprising that I have characters as a 14 million roster. Cause I don't, I try not to level up characters that I'm not using. I still try to have some value, but again, some of what you have, because Rewards are still based largely on TCP. War war points are gauged based on your, you get more points, the higher your alliance is. It's been uh, normalized a little bit more since the last wave of war bonuses, but that's the big difference here. So quite a few six red stars hiding at the bottom of my roster. I have over 56 red stars, over 27 red stars. We won't even get into that, um, but you guys will see some of these characters and you guys, don't pick on me, the red, red Guardian, my current lowest red star on my roster at three red stars, and I've got a four red. Otherwise, everything else is five or above. So you guys will see there's some luck over here, and there's some unluck, and you guys may pick on me for bringing the average of Bruiser up to 70, G12. That being said, we did some testing to see if he was able to tank any endgame content. He's 
absolutely useless. Worst kit in the game. So you'll see we've built some teams up. I didn't I didn't fall for the defender trap, and that's mainly because back in the day, a lot of people had defenders built up, and I was able to build up other characters for other traits so that I was able to do lanes besides city. And you guys will see as I'm as I'm building it up. You guys are gonna start seeing some Wakanda fool invested in Wakanda. Well, that was me. Yeah, I bought into Wakanda pretty hard. Try to justify it. No, they were never the Apex Apex raid team. I tried. U6, they beat really well. And then U7 came out a few a few weeks later. But whole other story. All right, so Sinister Six, you guys will start seeing some of the Sinister Six I'm invested, on, that invested in. Again, I would love to be able to invest in Swarm, but even I hit that gear crunch. You just can't buy enough resources in this game. Uh, so... Uh, you guys will see some of my more recent six red pools as we get to the top of my roster. You start seeing the the 90Ks, the 100K roster. So, um, you know, obviously characters that I love, you'll see have some investment. I did test out Pimtech at, at high gear gear levels. They're still easily beaten by BH 2.0. Check out my video. Um, and that might still be the best option for a lot of the alliances that, that are facing them. You guys will see some of the investment I had. I did bring Loki into DD3. Uh, didn't mind him as much, but there are better characters. You'll see that I've built up, again, you'll start seeing these G14s. You're going to see over 40 of them. Uh, and you'll see uh, some G15s at the top of the roster here, too. So finally got my Black Order finished. Cole, I got finished last week. So really, uh, his Blitz let me finish him off. And so I didn't have a max before then. So Black Order... Uh, I was trying to showcase that they were a very powerful team without maxing out their stars or or T4. So I still don't have all the T4s in them. They don't need uh, all of their T4s. There are some that are high investment level. They are probably 1,400 plus. So we'll get into that. Now, you'll see that I'm working on my dad bros. You just saw them both in the in the, uh, the 100K range. Phenomenal characters. I can't wait to see what they do with, with them. Uh, really, fell, really fell in love with them as a team because they're fun to play. And I think that's something that as a game, I uh, reminisce about the times when it was a lot more fun to play and it didn't feel like I was being forced into uh, teams. Although it kind of feels that way a little bit now, I feel like a lot of people are looking at how a wider roster they need to have and are scared of the potential investment with the current bottlenecks. I feel your pain. Everybody does. Regardless of whether you're a spender, a kraken, or free to play, there is a bottleneck facing facing you, looking you square in the eyes, saying, nope. All right. So from this perspective, you guys will see uh, some of my G15 choices. Captain America, while I was able to one-shot all of the early global nodes, doesn't matter. Regret that. I would probably have better bio choices. I'd probably be able to bring three or four symbiotes into, into city and just breeze through that. But in the meantime, I'm going to have to make up for the, the bio mats that he suctioned out of my roster. So we'll go into Siphon, probably a better word. We'll go into these choices, seven red Mordo. Um, he's, while he is a low cost option, it's made Cosmic more challenging, but doesn't matter. I won't have all of City ready because the SBCs I've spent on G14 in here anyway. And so you guys will see the Symbiotes. Symbiotes are a team that I am so glad I invested in. They are doing amazing things in Dark, uh, in uh, DD4. They're doing amazing things in the new dot three challenge raids they, they go through bio they go through city and uh they've allowed a, a amazing amount of completion at the at, even in the spider verse nodes at the end of the raid so they are phenomenal no regrets there they are used in my uh arena shard so i'll give you guys a quick arena walkthrough uh and i'll give you guys kind of my arena philosophy so my arena um i'm not overly aggressive i probably could try to like battle for number one daily but at the end of the day um you know, a lot of what I get is from Twitch and as a content creator now from YouTube and more importantly from direct donations. And I kind of feel bad pushing people out that might be a viewer. So I just kind of hang out and just try to get my my normal uh, cores. But Arena is also, I know, a big frustration for a lot of you and you guys have explained why. And uh, without going into much detail, it happens. And, um, you know, uh, I'm, 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 hoping, I'm hoping Arena gets to be more fun and you're in more control of your own destiny. Uh, that being said, um blitzes so we'll go into the, we'll go into 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 blitzes i think i've doubled my my uh my blitz win since uh the simulator came out like i'm 16 8, 8, 93 i think i was like 10k 
uh, a, a few weeks ago. I, I mean, literally, that's that's the impact that it made. Blitz for me was a very low quality mode because I just didn't have the time to do it. You know, I couldn't I couldn't sit there and justify it sitting in a meeting or leading a meeting and sit there on my phone. And so that's part of the reason why I spent on this game was because I just didn't have the time to accomplish some of these tasks. And, that, and that's the trap, right? So now that Sin Blitz is there, there has to be something else that takes up our time. And that's probably a little bit of RTA, but it's only... RTA for me is, isn't terrible. Uh, it's because I have a wide roster. So when a challenge comes up, I do have a character built up for the challenge. And when I don't, I can feel the pain that, that everybody else feels. And that's the point. That's the reason why I went out and I bought the extra battle pass. Well, this month was because I fat finger clicked it with my one tap buy. So I don't show my password on stream, but that happens, right? So if you guys haven't fat fingered a, a one tap buy button, you haven't been playing mobile games for long, have you? Uh, so realistically, this game mode, again, I know it's a challenge. I enjoyed it more before they added this new objectives. I kind of like the knockouts. I hope they find a balance between what people are having fun doing, uh, because I know a lot of people are giving that feedback and are frustrated over it. So we're going to go into the raids right now, uh, give you guys a quick uh, snapshot. So my strike team is at 100% done here. Uh, we're hoping to be able to 100% the Greek uh, dot three raids. Uh, and so I think, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm pretty sure I'm number one. Uh, if you guys don't know my name, RIP Fernando is celebrating uh, um, a member of the community we lost. He was a doctor on the front lines in Brazil. And so um, I also will be celebrating uh, my, my uh, former alliance mate, uh, Insane Native. I'll be changing my name back to that. Uh, miss him much. So uh, I really do love the community and I thank you guys for able to, to be able to spend a thousand days with you guys, learning from you, working with you. And remember, we're stronger together. Have fun playing this game. Let us know what your experience has been like over the past few days. How many days played? You loving this game? Are you guys feeling a little bit of pain? What can we do better? And we'll talk about you soon. Remember, I do things so you don't have to. And that includes wailing, harding on, wailing harder on ISOs, character releases, and the like to make sure you don't waste money that I've already wasted for you. Catch you soon.